NRL tonight, brought to you by LDV G10 Vans. Our top story on NRL tonight, no JT. What now for Queensland? Will they be the same without him? No problems for the Blues, but there is news on Brett Morris. He's live with the latest from Cam. And joining us on the show, last year's Clive Churchill medalist Luke Lewis. He's smashing them in clubland. He'll tell us how the Blues will beat the Maroons. G'day, welcome to NRL Tonight. I'm Matt Shermington. Big show ahead. We are up and down the East Coast with State of Origin less than a week away. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest. Including this, Queensland's winning run may have come to an end. Dealt a blow today with Jonathan Thurston out of Origin 1. His shoulder injury, which has dominated the Maroons' preparation since being named as 18th man, is not up to the task. We're about to cross live to a Maroons camp, but first, let's hear from the man himself who spoke to the media earlier today. Uh, obviously devastated. Um, you know, I love everything about uh, the Origin campaign. Didn't want to believe it. Uh, until uh, probably this morning, um, had the worst sleep last night. Sort of struggle sitting on the sideline, and um, yeah, it's, no doubt it's going to hurt. But that's footy. My decision around the rep uh, arena is, is final. Um, so you know, I'm at peace with the decision that I've made. And um, you know, if I don't play another Origins uh, game, it's going to be devastating. But you know, I've got a lot of memories that I'll, that I'll cherish from uh, being a part of this team. So Would you touch and go for Origin 2, JT? Or you think um, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm hoping to be back for the for the Eels. So, but <clears throat> um, like I said yesterday, um, if it's not right, then you know I won't be putting myself at risk or the team at risk. Yeah, not great news for Queensland. Let's cross to Camp Maroon now where Peter Bedell is standing by. Pete, it was a tough call for JT, but Queensland now need to move on and plan for Game 1 without Jonathan Thurston. Agonising call, Shervo, but the right call ultimately. Look, this is the chance now for Anthony Milford. There were two days of uncertainty. Now he has clarity. He makes his debut in Origin 1 at Suncorp Stadium. What a night it will be for Anthony Milford. And he has the backing of two men that know all about the number six jumper for the Maroons. One, Darren Lockyer, 36 games for the Maroons. He believes Milford can wear this jumper for 10 years. Jonathan Thurston, of course the legend. Well, he's staying here in Camp Maroon. He's been asked by Kevin Walters to be a mentor for Milford over the next few days. He's accepted that role. It shows what he thinks of the Maroons. It's an admirable stance by Jonathan Thurston. He's putting the team a bit above the individual. He'll be there for Milford as a guiding hand. Now Milford ran today with the Maroons. They've just completed their session. He ran nicely. No problems linked well with Cooper Cronk, so a big job for Anthony Milford next Wednesday night at Suncorp Stadium. Yeah, massive job. Uh, Milford is uh, clearly a brilliant player. He's proven that with the Broncos in 2017 and, and before that as well. Surely, though, he'll be in the sights for some of the Blues' big men. Yeah, he certainly will. They're rubbing their hands down at Kingscliff, the uh, Blues players. They can see a play that they can steamroll in defence. But I can tell you now, they better be careful, the Blues, because there are two big men either side of Anthony Milford, the two big boppers I'm talking about. Josh Papali, the hitman, 112 kilos. He'll be on the inside. On his outside, test centre, Will Chambers, 101 kilos. So 213 kilograms of muscle. Good luck, New South Wales, running over Anthony Milford. Of course, look, he's missed three tackles on average per game this year for the Broncos. So there are some deficiencies, but with big men either side of him, I think he can do the